Why would you want to move to Fort Worth, Texas, Robert? Maybe because of TCU, Texas Christian University. We'll get into it. Hey folks, Todd Germani here with my buddy Robert, who's actually in our Fort Worth office. We got a video for you today on top reasons to move to Fort Worth. And one of those reasons might be TCU, Texas Christian University, where Robert graduated with a journalism degree? Journalism degree. I have a degree that they no longer offer because it was in print journalism. That's right. We have tried Smart to find guy. every possible way to use a journalism degree here at a real estate company, and uh, we're figuring it out on the fly. Working on more, it. We found more than you might think. Yep. So anyway, um, Robert's absolutely the expert here, but I'll pepper you with a couple of questions. Just generally speaking, mm -hmm. what are some reasons that people would, would move to Fort Worth for TCU? So... The TCU area is kind of right there in the heart of town. Right. Um, it's immediately southwest of downtown. Mm -hmm. It's due south of the cultural district within five to ten minutes of that. And so it's just a great little area if you want to be in the heart of Fort Worth. All right. the hustle and bustle, all the exciting areas are, you know, a five to ten minute drive from campus. Right. Um, you don't even have to get on the highway to get to any yeah. of those places if you don't and want to. If you're from out of the area and you're not familiar at all, that that's fairly uncommon mm -hmm. for schools in Texas, right? So UT and Austin's kind of in Austin, which mm -hmm. is a big city, not as big as Fort Worth. Most other schools are in smaller towns, right? So yeah. Baylor and Waco, Texas A&M and College mm -hmm. Station, you know, Stephen F. Austin and, and Nacogdoches, you know, Texas Tech and Lubbock. Those are typically mm -hmm. smaller towns that are really college towns. Yeah. Fort Worth very much has its own identity mm -hmm. outside of TCU. Absolutely. But TCU is a huge part of the Fort Worth For identity sure. also. So it's there's some mutual benefit yeah. there, but but it's a big city and you are pretty much in town. Now, there's an area that is kind of TCU yeah, area absolutely. and that's kind of what you're talking about. But mm -hmm. just to point that out if you're not familiar with Texas, whether that's a positive or negative for you, if it's a positive, there's not a lot of other schools that have that going on no, in not in at town all. field. It, it's a really interesting dynamic because it has a little bit of that college town feel in right. that the city, like on game days, has skyscrapers lit up purple. Right. And there's banners <laughs> for the football team all over town. But right. it's not just a college town. It's right. you can you have people coming from any number of different universities to Fort Worth because it is a destination for people to move to right. um, post-graduation or even well after graduation. Mm -hmm. and, and so, you know, clearly TCU is a big undergraduate, you know, destination. It's an it's a excellent academic school. You've got great sports and extracurricular stuff. It's a, it's a you know, full-bodied university with all the things you could ever pursue in a, a Division One Big 12 uh, university. So th those are a couple other notes. Big 12 athletics for the mm -hmm. most part, um, you know, which for TCU's historically been really, really good at football. Baseball has been really good. You could talk mm -hmm. more about some of that stuff. Um, and then, you know, definitely division one, if people aren't real familiar with that. Uh, and then I guess you could talk a little bit more, if you will, about some of the programs that may be unique to TCU that it's known for being strong in mm -hmm. or things like that. Yeah, so I wouldn't say they're unique to TCU by any means, but both the business school, specifically the entrepreneurship program, mm -hmm. and the nursing program are really okay. highly respected. I think when I graduated about 10 years ago, um, the nursing program for the, their licensing exam at the end of yeah. uh the end of their degree, I forget what it was because yeah. I wasn't a nursing grad, um, but they were graduating like 99%, excuse me, 99% of their graduates were passing that test on yeah. the first go round, which is apparently pretty unheard of. Seems important. Um, and so both of those, yeah, right, uh, both of those schools, the business school and the nursing school offer, you know, post-grad opportunities right. that people are attracted to. Obviously, the MBA right. program is very highly respected at TCU. Yeah. Um, and it's not just the programs themselves, but the facilities are incredible right. that they offer there. And they just keep building. Um, I was going to say, speaking that, of facilities, yeah. there's a lot of new ones, right? Yeah, they, jo they joke that they're going to change the name to Texas Construction University because they literally have more money than they know what to do with. And so they throw it at construction. Um, I don't even recognize the campus anymore half the time yeah. when I drive through it. The library is entirely new. A ton of the academic buildings have gotten touch-ups. Um, the athletic facilities are all uh, brand new football recently, stadium. New football stadium. They're and still adding on to it. New basketball, basketball. arena. <laughs> Baseball's constantly a work in progress. Like, oh, we'll throw a million at that. At the baseball stadium, a million at that. And it's so, just constantly improving. So campus is incredible. Super attractive from an academic perspective as well as just kind of the community. It's a... It's a it, Fort Worth 
on the whole, try acts and feels more like a smaller town. Yeah, but it's a sure. really big city. Mm -hmm. So TCU gives it an even more kind of college tight knit feel, yeah. right? Okay. Now beyond those things. Let's talk a little bit about real estate in mm -hmm. regards. So if I was moving here for TCU, where do where do students live? And then let's yeah. well, add on to that, where might somebody buy or invest for students or as a graduate student or as someone who just wants to live in the area? Yeah, uh, there's a significant amount of rental properties over within walking distance of campus, obviously. As you get a little bit further away and it starts to become more like biking or driving distance, it's more of a mix of, you know, family owned home, owned mm -hmm. and inhabited versus rental properties. Right. And so where I've seen most recently the growth happening as far as investors um, on the, let me get my bearings, on the east side of campus, okay. as you move towards Pasquale High School, mm -hmm. there's a number of older houses that have been torn down and built upward mm -hmm. with, you know, multifamily housing, not like condos necessarily, but right. triplexes and whatnot. And we're talking about like really nice finished out, housing for for students um, right so if you're an undergrad a bunch of undergrad early you know freshman sophomore type students are on campus mm -hmm. right and on yeah. campus housing is getting better and better all the time mm -hmm. that kind of stuff but if you're thinking about moving to the area or you know whether you're a parent thinking about purchasing a property for for a child or for a mm -hmm. student that you're sending or looking for an opportunity to maybe just own some campus housing yeah. as pure investment what what area, what quadrant, you know, kind of what, what are some places that people tend to have that or look for that? Um, so Tanglewood is the neighborhood not immediately next to campus, but mm -hmm. it's it's the one that comes to mind when people think of the TCU area. Right. Just like nice remodeled ranch style right. homes. Way oh, nicer right. than I ever lived in in college. Oh, yeah. Tanglewood. Absolutely. But... I would say, from an outside perspective, TCU student housing is way nicer than anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, Most as a whole, sort of the expectation and the bar, it's not Animal House. You know, mm -hmm. it's it's not what you're picturing when you see a movie scene of like twelve mm -hmm. dudes stacked in a yeah. cruddy house. That's not really the no, feel of TCU student no. housing, even off campus. Mm -hmm. It's a you know, it's a higher cost university. Yeah. There's there's a Kind of a, I'm being careful here, but there's yeah. kind of a higher level, higher budget yeah. for student housing and vehicles and entertainment yeah. and things, all of the above, right? So to give you an appropriate expectation though, that Tanglewood neighborhood is an excellent place to live if you're a student. Yeah. But this is a nice neighborhood. You'll see, they're, they're here and there in Tanglewood and the line's kind of blurry. It, it, the neighborhoods around TCU, it's not you know, obvious dividing lines. Right. Like you cross this neighborhood and all the houses look different. I'd say West Cliff has a little bit more mm -hmm. student housing and more rental property. That's right. more due south of campus, whereas Tanglewood's right. a little bit more southwest um, and, and immediately to the west. And so West Cliff, I would say, is the, the place if you were specifically looking to snatch yeah. up rental property, that's probably where you'll get the most bang for your buck. Right, and campus itself and the the, ex the you know immediate borders, we've sold quite a few properties right around there. And th they're, those are... Those are not fitting into a normal student housing category. No, I mean, these are half million dollar and up homes mm -hmm. that have some students in them because yeah. the leasing rates are that favorable. So if if that's the type of investment someone might entertain, mm -hmm. you can actually still cash flow and be profitable in that Absolutely. regard. But the more common, seemingly entry level home is going to be a, another ring out, mm -hmm. typically south, southwest, or west for mm -hmm. the most part. Obviously. There are students living everywhere, and yeah. when you when you think about grad students or staff, then obviously that ring opens up a whole lot more. And mm -hmm. we've had clients that bought in Weatherford, you know, mm -hmm. that are driving 35, yeah, 45 absolutely. minutes to, you know, so that opens up all of Fort Worth. Mm -hmm. Anything else that somebody might want to know if they're just thinking about, hey, I might move there yeah. in some way related to the university. Yeah, and so speaking to that point. Of, of people coming to the area and living as far out as Weatherford that have ties to TCU. One of the great things about Fort Worth is that even though it's a large city, the infrastructure is pretty well yeah. built for what we have right now. It's right? grown so, around the highways. So you can, you can live, <laughs> you know, I live 15 minutes from downtown and I live on the quote unquote outskirts yeah. uh, of Fort Worth. And so it, it's great that yeah. if I need to get into town, it's an easy shot um, if you're coming from, you know, Alito, Weatherford, if you're coming from the Southwest and Benbrook, um, or even, even like due south and Burleson. It's, mm -hmm. There's a major artery that, that can get you into yeah. town and consequently the TCU area. There was area one area where there was lacking one and they built one. Yes, so, exactly. <laughs> so so it, it, for, in that regard, and if you, if you stay around our channel, you see some back and forth Dallas-Fort Worth kind of arguments, which are all in good fun. 
Um, but that's sort of the one of the true arguments from the Fort Worth side is, yeah, we're a big city, but you can get around pretty easily, yeah. and it feels a little more small town, cow town, cowboy kind of theme. That's not the only angle, but all things considered, if you're thinking about a move to the Fort Worth area, TCU is a huge positive for the area. Whether or not you're going to attend or in any way be affiliated with the university, it's, it's a huge positive for the community uh, and in a lot of ways brings opportunity, brings revenue, brings employment opportunity, as well as highly skilled potential employees to the area. So mm -hmm. if you're thinking about a move to the area, big, huge positive. One of the big reasons you might consider that would be TCU. So hopefully this has been valuable for you. Like this video if it has. Share it with someone that may be interested and then subscribe to our channel. We will continue to make great videos about why to move to Fort Worth or other areas in North Texas in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And by all means, comment below. We read every single comment. If we need to bring in our TCU expert, we will. And we'll, deal, we'll, we'll interact with you there in the comments. We might even shoot a new video for you if it's a topic that would serve a lot of people. And of course, if we need to take that offline and help you one-on-one -on -one purchase or sell or invest in real estate or anything else, we would love to earn your business. So thanks for tuning in and we will talk to you on the next one. Take care.